This video is brought to you by Practical Music Theory for the Rock Guitarist, my new book which is a comprehensive guide to all aspects of music theory necessary for playing rock guitar. From blues to the cycle of fifths, from understanding and using modes to choosing the right notes for a melodic solo, from pentatonic scales to chord construction and keys, it's all covered in a clear and concise manner. With accompanying video demonstrations, jam tracks and tabs, you learn to use the knowledge you gain in accessible ways that make sense for less than the cost of a few guitar lessons. Check out the link in the description for more details. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. That was me having a stab at the guitar solo from White Snake's Here I Go Again. Uh, it's a song they recorded many times, originally of course on this Saints and Sinners album. Was that about 1982 I think? Um, but then later in the 80s, I think around about the uh, 87 from that album, was it, what was it called? 1987 that came out then. Uh, there was the album version, there was the single version, there was the, uh, wasn't there the US remix or something like that. A lot, just I lost count of how many different versions of uh, that song came out uh, later on. <clears throat> but for me, the best version is the original. So that's why I thought I'd tackle the solo uh, from uh, that um, version of the song. And here's a little bit of an explanation about what's going on in it. Solo explanation. Okay, let's begin, as always, by looking at what chords we're playing over. Basically, G, D, C and A minor, arranged like this. And as all of those chords come from the key of G major, it's the G major scale that we are using to play over the top of it. As you could see, and here, this is a twin lead guitar harmony part. So what we'll do is have a look at guitar one and guitar two parts in turn. Um, quite often when you're doing harmonies, you'll be either using sixths or thirds or the occasional fourth or fifth. Um, this solo seems to use all of them at various points. Um, it's beyond the scope of this short video to kind of get down into that level of detail, lick by lick, what harmonies are being used. Uh, so let's just have a look at the individual guitar parts and then you can figure out the harmonies, uh, what's going on later. Uh, guitar one starts at the 12th fret on the B string with a pre-bend. We're going up a semitone to C and then we let it down and then come on to the 12th fret G note on the third string. And then we go 11, 12, 14 on the G string and then 12 to 14 on the D string. Then we do a similar lick um, where we start with the same little motif that we just discussed but now the sort of response part of this call and response section is going 12, 14 and then 11 on the third string and then Little grace note slide up to 12 on the third string, then the 12 on the B string, and then 15 to 13 on the uh, B string. So this is going to go. And then uh, we go up to um, kind of a higher register. If, like me, you tend to think in terms of major scales as being based around pentatonic patterns, the cage shapes, then we're at the top end of that pattern there. And we get... So we're on the top E string and we're doing 17 bend and release by a tone. Coming off to the 15 and then... Like that. And then we come on to the uh, B string for that little pull off there, 17 to 15. And then we come down to our original position here and go 13 to 12 pull off on the B string and 14 to 12 pull off on the G string. And then 
bend that 14 and come back down again so yeah. and at that point you that the sort of vocals come back in again with that descending uh, little run there in the rhythm guitar so that's the uh, guitar one part uh, guitar two um, let me just uh, remind myself by having a quick look at the tab I've got up on screen here yeah guitar two we start with um, a similar kind of pre-bend and release again on the B string this time at the 15th fret coming off to the 12th fret on the B and then go 12 13 15 on the B string and then 11 to 12 on the G string um, if you remember the uh, the second phrase on guitar one started the same as guitar uh, as the first phrase on guitar two the second phrase begins differently we, we come up to here the 14th fret and we do a little pre-bend and release by a semitone like that and then we come up to the sorry 12 13 15 like that and then and then little grace note slide up to 17 and then we do that little hammer on there 15 to 17 like that so like that um, then uh, we go right up to the dusty end to the 20th fret and uh, we get like that so tw uh, 20 on the top E string um, bend and release then come off to 19 and then 20 and 19 again that's basically a C going to a B and then we go 20 and 19 on the uh, second string and then come down to 17 and then we're on to the third string now we do 19 17 16 starting with a 17 here and then oops watch my bends there so this whole second part that goes and that's what's harmonizing with the in the guitar one part as i said earlier there are lots of different uh, harmonies going on here thirds sixths the occasional fourth and fifth and they all add up to um, a rather pleasing sound i think certainly um, the best uh, the solo from the best version of this song um, but there you go your mileage may vary but that's what's going on uh, now you know what to do go away and have some fun with it and as always you'll find a full tab for the solo in both guitar pro and pdf formats along with a clip of me playing it that explanation you've just seen there and a backing track to play along with yourself that's all up on my patreon page there's the address link in the description three dollars or three pound a month and you get access to all of these additional goodies that go along with these youtube videos and of course a massive massive thank you to everyone who supports me in that or any of the other ways all of which are downstairs in the description but that's pretty much it for today folks hope you've enjoyed this uh, little brief look at uh, what i think is a, a classic little solo and if that's the case please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so and why not drop me a like as well while you're at it don't forget the live stream every friday 5 p.m uk time where we drink beer and talk about stuff usually guitar and music related but it can go and often does go in absolutely anywhere it's a great way to kick off the weekend and i'd love to see you there if you can make it but for now i'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching thank you for your time look after yourselves folks stay well stay safe and above all stay sane bye for now Thank you.